Hey guys, it's David and Toby here with the fourth video on the exciting and hectic block and load. In this video we'll be hitting you up with some tips and tricks which we found really helpful in getting ahead in the game and unleashing some blocky ownage on the enemy team. First up the building stage, don't be afraid to dig out those quick and easy blocks for some extra build points early on in the game. Sand blocks for example dig out super fast and that'll help your building efforts around your pivotal defence points. This is especially useful if you're well kitted out with digging tools like Tony Toretto with bonus damage dealt to blocks, speedy destruction for quick points. Speaking of defence points, defending the generator is more than half your battle, and the first one in the line of attack is going to be the early game decider. Get digging around it to accumulate plenty of points for building, and simultaneously creating a fiendishly trapped area where your teammates can place turrets, mines and all manner of defences. Consider making a maze which the enemy team might choose over blowing up your thick walls, and then rigging it with mines and tiki towers for some hands off kills. Of course, it's not all about defence, there needs to be a healthy balance on any team in order to keep the fight in the enemy's half as well. You're going to need to make a quick entry, otherwise prepare for a lot of running under heavy enemy fire. We've utilised speed blocks in partnership with jump pads to cross the entire map extremely quickly. This works well in base race, where the map is long but flat. It's possible to chain the speed blocks and jump pads together in order to land and quickly move off again when required. On more mountainous maps with varied terrain, utilise quick access with respawn pads, create a little space where you can be hidden and secure from enemy fire, rain down your punishment on enemy defence points or their generators, and when dislodged, quickly return to your mobile respawn point to defend or continue the assault. Block and load is all about momentum. If you manage to keep your defence strong whilst repeatedly blowing vast holes in the enemy team's bases and defences, they'll have to spend more time building and less time attacking your side of the arena. Minimise downtime and maximise your time spent harassing the enemy players and objectives to achieve this. Remember, use that shift key to haul some blocky hiney around the map. Don't underestimate sprint. Teamwork. If you're playing with friends or in a group of randoms as a solo player, you can still use teamwork. Use chat to coordinate roles during the game and fill in gaps and walls and in tactics when you see them opening up. It's a good mix of the heroes which will help your team prevail, and each hero has a vital role to play. Make sure you're using your special abilities to their maximum potential. Rush those supply drops. Those bonus bricks give your team such an edge in the game and without them building can slow down and opportunities to attack the opposing team will suffer. If you have good teammates, get them to lay down some covering fire or place a couple of blocks yourself to shield you for those pivotal seconds whilst you secure the drop. Or do the same for your own teammates while they get the loot. As always, there are going to be mistakes made and some teams will be stronger than others, both with you and against you. Learn which hero you play most comfortably as and then perfect your preferred loadout and use it to benefit the team. Remember, one strong player a successful team does not make. If the team starts to suffer, then what the block are you going to do? Play the team game, set an example and take the team for the win. Good luck, hero.